So now let's create some plants, grass, and like generally some succulents um, to go along with the scene here. So away from the sort of harsh dirt and stone look. So uh, let's see. So let's start with um, a shape node. This is just going to be super quick. A little, uh, little green sort of flower type things. So let's do a half bell. Uh, in fact, let's do a ridged bell. It gives more of a leaf look. Um, scale and all that looks fine. So let's do a histogram scan. Contrast up to one. And let's go. Point eight one. That's fine. And then for the leaf shape to make the turn this into more of a leaf shape, um, let's use a trapezoid um, and take top to point eight. Right. So now we've got this. So let's just change this over in the base parameter settings to from tiling mode to absolute and say that to no tiling and then it get, gets rid of the excess there. Excellent. So let's go ahead and do a bevel. We want to bevel inwards. So we'll go minus 0 0.27 and a small bit of smoothing as well. Just about 0.93. So you can see this starting to kind of feel more like a leaf shape already. Um, and really this is, we're not going to do too much more of that. So let's do directional warp. And let's give it some sort of like um, vein type um, shapes. So let's go for uh, an anastrobic noise. Uh, and then let's do four. That's fine. Two, five, six. And we'll make it why I made the resolution true. Uh, and that actually should be good enough. So let's just um, put that in there. Let's swap that around. Um, and then we'll make it go up or maybe we could go down actually. It's probably better. Do an angle of minus 69. Something around about those. Yeah, something, something about that. Um, now, let's do another directional warp. Warp this. Um, this time we'll use a Gaussian noise, and we just want to do a little bit of uh, shape manipulation. So scale 9. Uh, disorder 0 0.54. Cool. And then we're just seeing that it just kind of wobbles up a little bit. And then we're going to blur it a little bit. Just so they're not so sharp. And we apply these to the leaf just a little bit so cool. these are the vein noises and then we're going to place it onto our leaf let's just bring this down a little bit i'm going to duplicate our bevel node and i'm going to bring the distance in 0 0.8 uh, and we'll leave the smoothing so we just get a wider shape here uh, and now let's just um, sort of make this, let's round this off a little bit. By just bringing up the gray value a little bit and just uh, kind of rounds that off. A little bit like that. Excellent. So it's starting to look like a leaf. Instagram range. Just to bring, oh, Instagram range. Uh, so that we can bring the range down um, so we can work with these values on top of our leaf. Because right now our leaf is pure white, so we're not going to really get anything. So let's bring the range, keep the range at 1, but we'll bring the position down to 0 0.3. Cool. Let's do a directional warp. Um, and we'll reuse this Perlin noise just to give a little bit of uh, shape manipulation there, just to wiggle up the leaf a little bit. And let's do 
And let's go minus 69 again. So we just got a little bit of wobble there. And then let's try something here. So let's before, before this directional warp, let's put a shape node and change this to parabolid and bring that down in. And then make this minus 90, so directly downwards. And let's pull this to about 30.3. And then that's just going to pull it down a little bit and give us a sort of wider bottom than our top. Like that. From there to that. Excellent. So let's pull that in. Now let's place our sort of these, this veiny noise on top of our leaf here. So let's do a subtract. And that gets us. So let's bring this back down though uh, to 0 0.21. And that's fine. Should do. Next, we're going to create a little stem um, to go with our leaf. So what we can do is we can actually just reuse the shape here. So let's take a transform. Let's bring it in there and then let's just thin that up. And then again, let's do the same as we did before with the tailing mode. So let's set it to absolute uh, and set no tailing. And let's just scale up a little bit. And and a little bit more. Let's do bevel node for this one. And let's just up it a little bit more, 0 0.29, and we'll reduce the smoothing a little bit. Just so we've got still got a little bit of a crease in the middle. Now let's do some directional warps based on our paraboloid here. We're just going to you know, bend, bend it a little bit over here. So let's um, pull that over to the left. Uh, let's go minus 66. Uh, so just got a nice little bend here. Uh, we could even up that up a little bit more. So 34.2 It's a good value for me. Again, have a look at um, what value sits you. Um, and then we're going to do, let's do, oh, let's, let's do this and then plug that in here. And we're going to, again, just give it a little bit of a crinkle warp. Um, we can have the same angle here. Um, let's up it a little bit more, a little bit more crinkle. To about 20. Excellent. So this, this should be really good um, for our stem, but before we can introduce it in, we need to kind of um, reduce it. And I'm actually going to use this a little bit later on as well as a, just a kind of a random grass blade that we can kind of scatter around our scene here. So I'm going to take that and use that uh, as a grass blade, and I'm going to take that and shorten it down just so that it fits into our leaf here. Um, and I can actually take that from back here. And we can just kind of bring that down. Even bring that in a little bit. Hold control while I do that so that it grabs both sides. Let's see what that looks like. So let's do a blend and max lighten. And it just gives that a little, little bit of a stem. That's fine. Again, these are these are going to be such a small part uh, of this scene that putting a lot of effort into something that's only going to be a couple of pixels on screen, um, it won't it won't give you great returns um, for your time. So, if something can be done kind of quick, then it's ideal like to do that. So let's just move that back up to the middle a little bit, just as so we can work with it a little bit more. So cool. 
a little bit more. So it's now kind of more in the center of our image. Now let's go and add some kind of shape variation to our, our leaf here. We're going to add a gradient um, and kind of multiply that down on top. Uh, we'll do a gradient layer of one, or gradient layer one, um, sorry, um, and then remap that. Let's use a gradient map, gradient, and then bring these in and then just bring these closer. Something like that. And then I like to just give it a little bit of a blur just so we get rid of any sharp edges. Uh, test fine blend and then we're gonna blend that down let's do it in multiply and then we can reduce 0 0.68 and that's just gonna give us a sort of um, like fold in our leaf and then let's do an auto levels so we're working with the full range not for there but for there so full range, now we can work with that leaf a lot better. So we now have a leaf and a grass blade. Now what are we going to do with these? So move that down a little bit. So what we can do, let's just have a look. Let's go for a, in fact, let's do a splatter circular. We're going to do a color so that we don't get any intersections and we get more overlaps than an intersection. Um, to use this properly though, we need to kind of configure this um, so that we can use it. So let's do that. So it's histogram scan um, and basically we're going to make an alpha out of this. So 0.86 position of 0.92. And then a gradient map that and we're going to do an alpha merge and now um, our leaf has an alpha if we click here and this little black view we can see alpha and feel free to play around with this value until you get kind of the shape that you like maybe you want less of the black outline so you can just go in and out a little bit so I'm going to keep that at 0 0.92. So now we can uh, throw this into our splatter circular, bring that into pattern one. Um, and we will keep it at 10, pattern amount random. Let's go for three, 0 0.34. Let's actually just change image input. There we go. So we can see our leaf now. Uh, and let's go to radius 0.25. Let's change that to 0.15. Bring that in. Uh, radius random 0.18 just to give it a little bit of variance. Uh, angle random. Let's let's put that to 0.45. See spiral factor. So let's add that to 1.8 change our spread to one so it's that so yeah we'll keep that to one we can maybe even bring it in a little bit more 1.1 let's go down to size so let's change the scale to four just bring that up to scale there we go then we're starting to see it a little bit better and uh, we can change the scale random so 0.27 again is the value that I landed on. Feel free to experiment and change that up as you will. Down to rotation. Now pattern rotation random. We can put that to 0.4. Don't have a whole lot of that, but just a little bit. Uh, center orientation true. That's correct. So if we take that off, all just points in the one direction, but we want it to rotate around its center origin. Uh, so let's see, ring rotation random. So we can rotate the, the entire ring. Um, let's do 0 0.33. Looks, looks good to me. 
and then down to the color. Now we can do luminance random to give some different uh, kind of color luminance variation there in our height map. Um, and let's put that to 0.89. We don't want to go too dark. Um, and that should be, let's see what random mask does. 0 0.2 0 0.7 0 0.2, that's fine, we'll leave it there uh, So, we can add that, which doesn't quite work Which is why we use Alpha Blend And then we get the overlapping look And then, let's change that down to 1 Luminance by pattern number Let's put this up to 1 So that we get a um, sort of a darker as we go round the round the ring. Uh, excellent. So that that'll do for now. Uh, and then all we do so after this is do a grayscale conversion, so that we can use it back into the height map. Let's do a multi-directional warp. Like this plug that into here, and let's use a Gaussian noise. Um with a scale of 17, oh, not 127, this is 17. Uh, and a disorder of 0 0.77. Excellent, so let's plug that in. Let's put the intensity to 11 point, 11 11.89. So, Oh, that's, oh, I was already, I was in the scale the intensity. I want to change to 11.89. Cool. Uh, rotation. Bring that down to something like, I mean, it's 100. Make sure this is set to chain. Uh, and then this one just gives it a little bit of warping, a little bit of variation um, after they're all together. And then I'm going to take a transformation 2D, and then just and just bring just manually bring this up to size. This one got a nice wee cheap um, sort of little plant thing here. We can carry on using that. Let's just see what else we can do with this. So let's do a blend and invert. Our paralloid over here and then we're just going to multiply that down on top of our plant so zero point multiply sorry at a 0 0.22 and that's just going to give us a darker center um, and lighter as it goes out let's pull this down a little bit to make it a little bit neater we're going to do the same uh, with our grass blade that we made here uh, that we did here. So it's, we can actually just take this up here and plug that into there. Um, this histogram scan should be good the way it is. Alpha merge. Again, if you want to take out, go deeper and just kind of take out these black lines, which they can be a nuisance. Then just mess around with your histogram scan node. Uh, and then Let's do a splatter circular. So let's just take this, plug that in. So we get this, these grass here. So let's change the pattern input to 13. We'll leave that value as it is. And then we we'll go down to our position. Let's see if we can change some position values or radius. Um, let's Keep it within the same, relatively the same area. Uh, yeah, let's just keep it at the same point, 15. Uh, radius random. Again, let's just keep it the same for simplicity. Um, angle random. 0 0.45, that's all fine. Let's just scroll down. To size. Size, um, let's change this up a little bit. Um, and go a little bit more size random. Scroll down here to rotation. 
Let's just keep that the same. Um, rotation, ring rotation random will keep the same as well. Luminance, keep it all the same. Don't really need to change it. Uh, random mask, let's bring that down to 0 0.6. Let's try that and change the random seed. Something like that. That looks, bit, that looks good to me. So let's move down here. Uh, and we can do a grayscale conversion. After that, and again, let's grab multi-directional warp. Do the same thing. Change the intensity a little bit to 14.1. And uh, chain and four, that's fine. Now we've got these, this is pretty crazy looking. Let's see if this one here gives us a better value, which it does. Maneuver that a little bit, give it a bit of a neater look. Cool. And then let's do use this transformation 2D node again just to bring the scale of that up a little bit. So let's just bring bring that down a little bit. There we go. And let's do the same thing we did here. So let's blend that with this and multiply that down at 0 0.67 value and then let's let's try and uh, blend these together so doing auto levels again use the full range uh, let's do a blend max lighten these together Poking a little bit through, which I don't really like, so let's bring the range down. Range, there we go. So I want the range to be, when I say bring the range down, I mean bring the position down. 0 0.3. So, for now I think, let's, well, still poking through a little bit, so let's bring it down a little bit more. Something like that. Um, so now what I'm going to just add a bit of variation is let's do high quality blur. Plug this in. I'm going to take our original dirt from way back here. I'm just going to take that. See, that gives us a nice visual here. So let's reduce the blur down, bring the quality up, and then set this to overlay. And bring that down to 0 0.9 and just gives a little bit of variance there to an overall shape. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another version of this just to again have some more variance um, once we kind of splatter them down. So let's take the same leaf, take the splatter color, um, let's take the random seed up and uh, bring that down so let's have a look here now so we want to change the ring amount to two we want to have two sets of these let's put this to 0 0.83 and let's have 12 of them so as we scroll down here, we can have a look and we want the radius. Let's bring that up a little bit to 1.0.16. Bring the radius random down to 0 0.07. 0 0.62 for a ring radius multiplier. That just brings that down a bit. Angle random 0 0.64 and spiral factor 0 0.33. And then let's change the spread a little bit to 1.26. So we get this nice kind of floral fan pattern here. Pattern, pattern here. Uh, let's see if we need to change the scale. Uh, scale is four. Let's go 4.35. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Um, that's fine for scale random. We can leave that there scale by ring number so let's put that up a little bit 0 
Excellent. So let's go down to rotation. Uh, ring rotation. In fact, pattern rotation random. Let's go for 0 0.1 for that. Uh, let's give a little bit of rotation here. 29 degrees. And that should be fine. That's 0 0.1. See, min. Yeah, let's keep that at center. Ring rotation offset. 0.38 let's ring that just so we can have the slight offset rotation on the upper ring let's bring the luminance value down let's make a solid 0 0.3 and then bring luminance by pattern number down and luminance by ring number so that the bottom ring looks a little bit darker than our top ring. Uh, random mask 0.31 for just now. Let's do a grayscale conversion and multi-directional warp. Same deal that we did with this one. So let's just do a transformation to D. Let's change this up a little bit. Let's go 14.09. Just gives it a little bit more wiggle. We can blend that again, same as same as we did with this one. So let's just go. We can just do this, something like that. Uh, same value, zero point two two. That's all fine. Doing auto levels, like that, and then blend that with our grass. Max Layton just to give some sort of like little grass elements underneath the plant. Uh, let's do the same as we did with this. So let's just plug that in and give that some. Oh, let's give that a little bit of variance there. Excellent. So now we have. Um, let's bring this down. Um, bring that. Make this a little bit nearer. Just like that. So we have this plant, this plant, and we have our grass as well. Which we actually just use the single grass blade from over here uh, to scatter around itself. We can have a look at that. Um, so we have now created our grass and flowers. So, well, grass and leaves, I should say. So it, um, let's frame that off. Um, let's call this plants. Eh, let's color it green. Excellent. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. You can watch the next part by clicking the screen or the link in the description. If you would like to get your hands on these source files for this tutorial, then they can be found at the link in the description below as well.